Would you like to know how to handle your haters? Um, and some of them may be at the same address you're at. Well, there's a way that you can handle those that you're not quite in fellowship with. Say your name. From George Floyd to Kutakente, everyone experiences hate and bitterness at some point in their life. Whether it's from friends, family, or co-workers, it happens to the best of us. Now, Dr. Ivory Varner has taught us that as Christians, we're called to live in ways that many won't even understand. Even Jesus warned us that we would be hated. But he also tells us that we must stand firm with our hater so we can win later. So we want to offer you the things that Jesus said. And it was on the mountain and he was talking to his disciples. In fact, it's in Matthew chapter 5. He says, and when, uh, uh, and when he saw the multitude, he went into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are, they, are those that thirst and hunger after righteousness, for they shall be filled. And it went on and on and on. But then he get down to your haters. You know, right before, right after he said, you know, if somebody slapped you on the right cheek, turn the, uh, turn the other cheek. He said, if somebody sue you at the course and take away your coat, say, give him your cloak too. He says that, um, so he was showing us how to love our haters, but I, but I want to give a specific verse that he says, and then I want to park right there. When you got to verse 44, because verse 43 says, you have heard it said by them of old that you should love your neighbors and hate your enemies. But I say unto you, love your enemies. And then he tells us how to do that. Let me read it and then I'll make a comment. He says in verse 46, 44, he says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them that despitefully use you, and persecute you and he's gonna get down to the end and he's gonna say but ye therefore but be ye therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect now the only way we can pull that off is with God's help you can't put it off by your education your economics your political persuasion you can't pull that off. No, no, this, this is an inside job. It has to be something coming out of the heart. He says, uh, first of all, he says, uh, those that curse you, this is what I want you to do for them. I want you to bless them. I want you to speak well of them. Keep giving kind words. I want you to bless them. Now, everything I'm about to say has nothing to do with how you feel. See, we always check our feelings to see how I like, if I like you or not. Well, when you become a Christian, yeah, you still got them, but you don't pay attention to them because you want to be obedient to God. So the first one says, if somebody curse you, bless them. The second thing he says, he says, do good to those that hate you. So you got some haters in your family, on the job, do good. Find a way to do good for them. So I'm not, I'm going against what I feel to get to my will. Because you see, you got feel and will. Will, feel, feel, will. So am I going to trust my feelings or am I going to depend on what I will? So I'm saying, put your feelings in the back. Put your will up front. Follow your will and make your feelings get in line so that you can obey God and then God get a chance to bless you. 
And the last one was, he said, pray for those that despitefully use you and persecute you. It is only ah, you, Jesus. So no. now you got to talk to God about them. But you ain't saying, God, get them. You're saying, God, I know. Just like you died for my sins, you died for their sins too. So I want to forgive them just because you forgave them. So now I want to be just like you because the last thing you said in Matthew 5, he says, uh, therefore, be like your heavenly father who is perfect and only you can get us to that point. So let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for getting us to that point. Now we know it's possible to love our haters and have a great day. Have a great day because we didn't let our haters and our persecutors and those that spitefully use us mess up our day because we put our will in front of our feel. It's not what we feel, it's what we will. And we will to love them in spite of them. So we thank you and we love you. I see things in Jesus' name. Amen.